All right, last example um, of inverse functions. So this is part five. Make sure you have seen uh, the previous parts. Um, let's say we have a function. What should we do? P. Yeah? Px. Uh, x is the variable. And um, what shall we do? Can you think of a function? Uh, I'm just making it up. What shall we do? Minus five. 3x minus 7. Okay? And we have to find the inverse function and then evaluate it for minus uh, 7. Okay? So that is the question. Find the inverse function of p and evaluate it for x minus 7. Okay? So y equals minus 5, 3x minus 7. Okay? I've explained all of this already in previous videos. I'm not going to do that again to so make sure you've seen it before huh? or the previous videos before minus 5 times 3x minus 15x minus 5 times minus 7 is a positive 35 I do not have to expand this but I rather do okay so to find the inverse rather than px I write y personally I like to expand it first but now to find the inverse I swap x and y minus 15 on y plus 35 and then I make y the subject again x minus 35 equals minus 15 y so y equals x minus 35 over minus 15 okay so that's the inverse function so if I do it like this I say well the inverse function of p where x is the variable x minus 35 over minus 15 Evaluated for minus 7, not a problem for me, yeah, because I just substitute or swap x for minus 7, minus 35 over minus 15. We don't need calculates for this, do we? Minus 7, minus 35, that's going to be minus 42, that's becoming less over minus 15. Okay, top heavy fraction, improper, let's turn that into a mixed number. Well, it's a negative divided by a negative, so my answer is going to be positive anyway. So 42 over 15. How many times does 15 fit into 42? Well, it's 15, 30, 45. That's too much, so it's going to fit in twice, which is 30. My remainder then is 12 over 15. I see common factors. Yeah, I see a common factor of 3, so it's 2, 4 over 5. Now, your calculator can do that also for you, however, it is important that you are able to do it by yourself as well. Okay, that you are able to play with these numbers without being afraid. Okay, so for the function p minus 5 brackets 3x minus 7 bracket, the inverse function of it equals x minus 35 over minus 15, and to evaluate it for minus 7, you get 2, 4 over 5. Okay, I hope that was useful. And we can go now to composite functions. See you there.